If you missed the 4.6 Genshin livestream, don't worry, this video will include all the information shared in the recent livestream. First off is the 4.6 Wish Banners. Like the leak said, 4.6 Phase 1 banners will feature Arlecchino and Linny, and in Phase 2, it'll be Wanderer and Baiju. There's also the release of Arlecchino, the five-star Pyro Polearm. She's one of the most anticipated characters in Genshin for a while. This is how her kit works. There's the new character called Sethos. We don't have any info on their vision or kit, but we know that they'll appear in Sino's second story quest. He's drastically different to what the leaks said he would look like. Next up is Arlecchino's signature weapon and two new artifact sets. One of them being Arlecchino's signature set, Fragment of Harmonic Whimsy. We will also get Arlecchino as a weekly boss. If you do not repay the blood debt directives, the knave applies to you, all her attacks against you will be enhanced. But if you manage to outheal the bond of life, the knave will reward you for repaying this blood debt and your charged attacks against her will be enhanced. If you're AR 40 or above, you can skip the story quest and quick start the weekly boss challenge. There's also this new world boss called Statue of Marble and Brass. There's also Arlecchino and Sino's story quests and a new optimization called Focused Experienced Mode. Now, if you use the feature while playing doing a quest, then it will minimize the number of times that you'll be interrupted by characters or quest locations being allocated to other quests. As for the events, we have the main event called Iridescent Arataki Rockin' for Life Tour de Force of Awesomeness. Yeah, it's Ito's event, all right. Then the three smaller events, one of them being Wind Trace. Treasure compasses have also been updated. Its markers will be displayed on both the large map and the mini map. Then there's the new area called Petrichor. This is where we'll meet a talking cat. People who have already completed the third act of the Archon Quest will automatically unlock a teleport waypoint in the village of Petrichor. And of course, the new TCG cards. That's all. Thanks for watching.